NZ Super Rugby rookies to keep an eye on in 2018 inches. NZ Super Rugby rookies to keep an eye on in 2018 opinion, there can be few observers who are still blasé about the quality of players leaving New Zealand shores. At this time of the year, when European clubs announce new signings, it can seem that anyone who has laced up a pair of boots in New Zealand is heading for the airport departure lounge. Yet it is not quite the full story. There is also the new intake of Super Rugby players to consider, the younger players who are coming up and replenishing the stocks. Peppered through the squads this year are some young men who can make a big impact. At the Blues, Caleb Clark fits that bill. In fact, Clark's talent is already something of a badly kept secret, and he could well be the star of the Hamilton Sevens this weekend. He may be 107 kilograms but his greatest asset is speed. Indeed, what stood out in Clark's performances in the New Zealand under-20s last year was his desire to beat opponents with footwork and pace rather than take them on in the contact. The purists will love his ability to get on the outside on that left wing and carry the ball in his left hand. It is hard to believe Clark doesn't turn 19 until March but he looks to have similar potential to another young blues wing who ended up doing quite well for the All Blacks last year. The Chiefs' Levi Ormuir is a fascinating prospect. It is no secret that the Chiefs have tried to import a bit of size for the outside backs and they recruited Ormuir from Tasman after failing to lure the likes of Sita Tamainavu. He regularly breached the line at Mitre 10 Cup level but the key for him will be conditioning. A hard Chiefs pre-season will presumably arm him with the tools he needs to prosper at Super Rugby level, where his 110 kg frame could frighten a few defenders from either the centre or wing position. Will Jordan of the Crusaders moves like a Rolls Royce? Another graduate of the excellent under-20s program, the fullback has lovely balance and is big enough to handle himself at the next level. Competition among the Crusaders outside backs is intense, we could have easily have highlighted another rookie here, Braden Inner, but Jordan's all-round game and pace could allow him to flourish on the wing as well as the No 15 jersey. Down south at the Highlanders, Shannon Fraisel is another product of the Tasman Super Rugby factory. His brother Tyson is a tough NRL forward at St George Illawarra and Shannon shares those attributes even though athletically they are chalk and cheese. Shannon, at 195 cm, is by far the taller. And that height allows him to express himself as both a skillful, ball running loose forward and a line out option. Liam Squire, Elliot Dixon and Luke Quietlock are ahead of Fry's L in the queue but the Highlanders culture of hard work and underrated set piece work is the perfect place for young forwards to advance their games. Hurricanes tight head Alex Fido could surprise overseas opponents this year. They'll be expecting a Safo or Muir's dynamic contributions but they might not yet know that Fido is almost as explosive and skillful, at 135 kilograms. It is hard not to draw similarities between Fido and the Reds' chain Yelatapu. They are around the same age and occupy the same position. Yet Fido's performances with ball in hand for Wellington last year, after he got fit and shed some excess baggage, suggest the better prospect might be on this side of the Tasman. <laughs>